have not sat down here in a little bit and kind of just update you on everything that's going on right now. Um, it's been crazy, crazy. And so I officially have hit 13 weeks of my off season. We are going full swing on the reverse dieting, adding up to my macros. I am about to hit the 200 club for carbs. Woo! And that is huge for someone who my metabolism when I first started this, um, journey with my coach was crap, was absolute crap. And so we have been building to get my macros up to a point where I hold my same weight, I hold my same waist measurements, hold kind of my physique. Obviously, I'm a little bit fluffier. However, my weight has not really gone up. I've been, uh, I started off at 120. I went down to 118 during this, and then I've been at the 119 range. Um, and it's so awesome that I have a coach that cares so much about making sure that I'm doing this the healthy way. Uh, we officially determined that we will be doing a show um, September, October of 2021. Um, so I'm super pumped about that. I was a little bit disappointed because I originally wanted to do a show in July of 2021. However, we realized that I would have to cut really hard uh, it wouldn't be like a gradual thing as well as I wouldn't be in my best shape um, I'm someone again I've had muscle and stuff but I am lifting right now the heaviest I've ever lifted um, weights that I'm lifting for like four reps of six now weights that I was my one rep max max um, months ago, which is absolutely absurd I am so proud of myself and something I'm learning is different wins so i feel like especially in the fitness industry um that wins are usually like oh she got a six pack win waist measure went down win smaller on the scale win and so especially um in the whole reverse dieting the bulking putting on muscle putting on strength it is a mindset game it definitely is a mindset game about having to pose and send progress pictures to your coach who first off was never comfortable in bikinis. That's like totally, I've, bathing suits has always been something that, ugh, it's hard. I used to be overweight when I was younger, when everyone else, when they were 16, 17, 18, I like really had a figure. Um, I was someone that did not have a figure. I was like basically a potato potato um, and so that was tough for me um, so that trauma too of that has always stuck with me um, and I mean you can look amazing in anything you can look amazing in jeans you can look amazing in workouts spandex and sports bra especially like the high waist is suck everything in but in a bikini and a bathing suit like you are what you are it is what it is um, and so the fact that like I'm doing bikini competition where I'm literally wearing like a skippy bikini that is crazy to me that so outside my comfort zone, but was even more outside my comfort zone, the fact that like, I'm nice and fluffy right now, and my fluffiness is getting bikini photos, a sense of your coach. Uh, but it's something I'm just getting over, and I'm knowing it's a progress, and there's something called an off season, which is so important to do. Uh, so I am just super excited about this journey, super excited about the progress, and everything that is going on in the process that this is taking. Um, and so, I assume that we'll start cutting June-ish, um, May, June, and that's going to be interesting to cut during the summer, especially the fact that summer is when you have drinks and go to outdoor dining and have drinks on a beach and margaritas and all the things that we'll have to miss out on, but your girl will look good in a bikini. Hyped up for that. Woo! I just want to update you guys. Um, Right now, my weight, 13 weeks of my prep. Um, my weight is around 119.2. My waist measurement is 26. Um, and I'm lifting the heaviest ever lifted. I did um, hip thrust, four sets of six for 280, which I was so proud of myself. And I did um, leg press, four sets of six of 400. For hundo, that's like four of me. How freaking crazy is that? Don't let your five foot self tell you you ain't good at stuff. Yo, impress other people. Lift more than the boys. Let's get after it. Oh, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Thank you so much for doing this. I uh, completely turn over my like abs over, my torso over, and hit it. 
Is your back foot popped? Yes. Yes. Okay. You can't see me. Okay. That would help if um, you could actually see me. There we go. Yeah, so like booty here and I think like this pose. But I my issue is like I said I'm five foot and so we're trying to make my torso look the smallest. And I yeah. feel like I'm looking boxy. So I don't know if this actually is the right pose. That's good. And then you can kind of like open, like Ooh. twist a little bit. Okay. Like that. There you go. Yeah, like that. Oh, this is, whoa, these poses like, hurt. It is hard. It literally is like a workout. So, like, whenever I'd be done with the, the other one. Okay. I want to see how it looks. Come in. This is the other one. Okay, go ahead and turn to the back. Like that. Mm -hmm. Wait, when I'm turning, when I'm turning, this hand, this hand goes on my hip. This hand stays on my hip. Uh, that's a good question. Hold on. So you're here. Yeah. Okay. Wow, well, that's a really good question. I never, I just kind of like move into that. But that's the I'm so like technical. I'm like, you, what yeah, but that's a good question. I, I kind of, I think I end up just like relaxing it by my leg, so it's not so upright. Oh yeah, that yeah. feels more natural. So I'm here. Yeah. I go into here. Push, and then, I go, and then do one, two, two, three, and then hit it after okay. that third one, so you're nice and still. Okay. And then they'll tell you to turn to the front, so you draw that foot in, relax both your arms, kind of open them up, yeah. pivot, and hit the front foot again. Yeah. Practice I, that. Try that. I can watch you. Yeah. So I'm um, front pose. I'm leaning inside. One, One two, two, three. Nice. Two. Your back looks good. I go right into the old one now. Okay. I think. Oh, because it's a habit, but it looks, yeah. I like that pose. No. I personally think by looking at you straight on like this that that one makes your waist look a little smaller but I, the front pose you should feel like not Healthier um, sweets that I found that are macro friendly for me being on my prep. I need to have some sort of sweet. So, of course, I'm on my fit, um, my fitness pal. I plan each meal in advance so that I can fit these in without going over and have all my other macros and healthy foods throughout the day. So, these are three finds that I found at Stop and Shop. You can probably find them at any local food store that you have. The first one is Diana's um, Bananas. So, <laughs> Diana's Bananas. Ooh, that's fun. Uh, there's like banana bite ones too. I just got like the banana on the stick. <laughs> banana on the stick. Uh, the macros were this. One banana um, covered in chocolate is six grams of fat, 18 carbs, three protein. Again, nothing too crazy. The other one I found is um, frozen yogurt chocolate bars, like the fudge pops I used to love as a kid. One of them is 100 calories, two fat, 16 carbs, four protein. And then Yasso's is an amazing brand. Uh, Again, I feel like anything that you can find frozen yogurt is a great alternative than syrup ice cream. There are so many healthier alternatives, and they're usually cheaper. I used to be someone that used to be in love with like Halo Top, Arctic Zero, kind of. Um, those are very exp expensive for like a small carton of Halo Top. It's like five dollars something cents. You can get a big tub of frozen yogurt for like three dollars, and so money wise so much smarter and macro friendly um so yes yeah, so there's so many different ones they're like sandwich ones there's actually cartons there's frozen pops like this one this one is the coffee chocolate chip the macros for this one of them uh, one bar is 100 calories two fat 16 carbs and five protein so hopefully this helps you guys out like it helps help me